Hello everyone, welcome back to Bandit's Tarot by Sarithic Pathways, and this is going to be another intuitive psychic tarot reading that I'll be doing today on the accusations that are surrounding Zayn Malik of harassment against Gigi Hadin's mother. We'll be taking a look at what the tarot could have to say about this. Um, Yolanda, Gigi Hadin's mother, is accusing Zayn of harassment and also she is claiming that he has laid hands on her like so it was like a physical altercation now before i go any further i would like to throw out as i always do that the things that i mentioned in this video should not be taken as facts they are alleged and this is for entertainment purposes only consider this to be a disclaimer Let's go ahead and hop into the questions that people may have about the situation because a lot of this is just now coming up to the public. Um, from my understanding, this apparently happened months back, but it's just now arising, like it's just now getting to the public. So I wanna see what could have happened between Gigi Hadin's mother, Yolanda, and Zayn Malik. What could have happened between the argument, altercation, disagreement, whatever it was between Yolanda and Zayn Malik? What could have happened at that time? Swords. So we have the Eight of Swords that popped out, first card. The Empress. Zayn, um, sorry, Gigi's mother is popping up here as the Empress card. So if she was caught like in his house, someone here was just needing their personal space or feeling like that their personal space was violated. It could have been. So, during the pandemic, and they were staying over at Gigi Hadin's mother's house, I'm seeing that conflicts could arose between Zayn and Yolanda during that time of them being in quarantine. It's almost coming across as someone needing their personal space or just someone needing their peace and quiet. And it was being disrupted with the Eight of Swords. Like someone here was just looking for peace and quiet and relaxation. They was they weren't able to do that because other people were staying with them, were in their house. Was in their house, sorry. We also have this page of swords is popping out here. Who is this page of swords talking about in regards to the question? The lovers. The Nine of Pentacles. Yolanda could have had an issue with Zayn because he was acting like he was single, like he was behaving like he was single.
Whenever I was clarifying this page of pinnacles, we had the lover's card that popped out here. I'm reading this as a relationship between Zane and uh, Gigi Hadin. This is a union. So she could have been upset with him because he was behaving like he was single. I'm seeing that he could have been, had the opportunity to step out on the relationship. She, some way she found out about that, but she wasn't going to let Gigi know about that, but she was unhappy. So she could have been the first person to hear about this or discover it or find it out. And he kind of got very defensive. Um, what's this lover's card talking about, Spirit? What is this lover's card talking about in regards to the question? Thank you. Judgment. There was a judgment call on the relationship, on a union here. It's Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. So I want to see now did Zayn Malik put his hands on Yolanda? Did Zayn Malik put his hands on Yolanda? Was there a physical altercation between Yolanda? and Zayn Malik. Was there a physical altercation between Yolanda and Zayn Malik? The Queen of Swords is popping out here with the Wheel of Fortune. This could be Yolanda that's popping out in this reading. Was there a physical altercation between Yolanda and Zayn Malik? Yes, there was. She did feel, she did, she felt frightened by him, like she was scared of him like defensive and it seems like this is not the first time that this has happened it may be it may be we may be hearing about this for the first time but this is something in their cards is popping up is something that is reoccurring this could have been just another outburst that he was having and i'm seeing that this was a fine this is when she finally was like enough is enough this is when she drew the line, Yolanda, and decided to walk away from this. Either that or Yolanda was looking at Zayn some type of way prior to this altercation that they had. This argument or disagreement, like, she was already having doubts about him. She was worrying that Gigi was going to put in too much energy, like Gigi has ex put in too much effort into this relationship than what she should have by the way that, by the way Zane is behaving towards both her and Gigi. I'm seeing here that, who is this Queen of Swords talking about? Who is this Queen of Swords talking about? Who is this Queen of Swords talking about? In regards to Zayn Malik and Yolanda, okay. This is dev they're devastated. The family's devastated by this. Yeah, I'm getting that all of their hard work is just 
someone here is disappointed in the effort that they put in this situation and what they got out of it. All of the hard work, the time, the energy that they made, that they attempted to put into this relationship, you know, and now they're having to basically walk away from it. Someone here is very upset at the bottom of the deck. Whenever I stopped shuffling, we had the Three of Swords. Okay. How does Gigi Hadeen currently feel about Zayn Malik? How does Gigi Hadeen currently feel about Zayn Malik? Haven't they been on and off for years now? How does Gigi Hadeen currently feel about Zayn Malik? Let me rephrase that question. How does Gigi Hadeen feel about the, situ the fight between her mother and Zayn? How does Gigi feel about the fight between her mother and Zayn? Zayn Malik. She feels like it's bringing a lot of stuff to light. Especially, it's highlighting the problems that they had in their relationship. And you know what? In a way, it's... She could not be as surprised and shocked as what people think she is. This is already, it's coming across here as confirming what she already suspected. Confirming what she already suspected of the relationship between her and her mother. Like, she knew that her mother could have been keeping, could have not been telling her things. Like, how was, like, I keep on saying like, I'm sorry. How Zane was treating Yolanda. Yolanda was afraid to speak up about this, or she chose not to. Because she didn't want the relationship between Zane and Gigi to be in jeopardy. She didn't want to jeopardize, jeopardize, jeopardize their relationship. There were, there were a lot of things that were kept secret with the moon card. This could have been linked to Zane's, Zane's daughter. She chose not to speak up about it because she didn't want to disrupt the family. She could have saw that Zane and Gigi was working on their relationship, but ultimately she didn't want to intervene. I know I'm talking about Yolanda, but this is... I asked about Gigi, but this Yolanda's popping up in her cards. But yeah, in regards to Gigi, it's kind of confirming what she already knew. With the Nine of Cups. What is this Nine of Cups talking about? The King of Pentacles? Her father is popping up here. Gigi's father is popping up here. I haven't, I haven't heard from him, but someone's father figure is popping up here with the Nine of Cups. Someone's father figure could be glad that their kid is leaving a toxic relationship. So we have both of her parents popping up here in our cards. Her mother and dad. She could be having conversations with her parents deeply. Like, this could be, she could be getting her father involved. Or someone's father figure is popping up here. Can you tell me more about this King of Pentacles when, in, when it relates to Gigi Hadeen's feelings? 
towards a disagreement of her mother and Zayn Malik. Who is this King of Pentacles talking about? This could also be relating to a judge, too. Six of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, they're here to help them out. So if they choose to prosecute further charges, then this person could be helping them out with doing so. But otherwise, yeah. Whoever fathers, it's coming across as G Gigi's father. That's what I'm. That's what I'm reading these cards as. Someone's parental figure viewed the relationship toxic because they were too reliant. She could have viewed Gigi as too reliant on Zane for something. It wasn't an equal give and take with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, so now I want to ask, will Gigi Hadin and Zayn Malik reconcile? Will Gigi Hadin and Zayn Malik reconcile? Uh, <laughs> okay, um, someone here, mm, someone here is wanting to talk. Someone here is keeping an eye, eye on each other. But they both could be watching each other right now as we're talking, talking about this. We're keeping secret tabs, judgment. Yes, yeah, someone here. Does Gigi Hadin, will Gigi Hadin reconcile with Zayn Malik? Will they reconcile their relationship? The lover's car popped out, but I put it back into the deck. Will they reconcile their relationship? Someone is going to make the effort into reconciling, like they're going to try to make the effort into getting back together, but ultimately, I don't, it's unlikely that it's going to work out. Like this time, it's honestly not going to work out between the both of them. with the Eight of Pentacles popping out in reverse. Again, I'm seeing that someone here is going to be speaking from the heart. Uh, their feelings are really hurt about this and they're regretting what they did. They could be coming to the other person in an emotional manner, trying to reconcile, but it's coming, coming across as the other person not being receptive to, the, to it. We have this King of Wands is popping out at the bottom of the deck. This could be Zane. Also, this King could be Zane, the Fool. They're definitely going to make an effort. Someone here is going to make an effort. I just keep on saying no. It's like they're not going to get back together after this. And if they do... It's just going to lead to further problems. It's just going to lead to more issues. More issues than what they already had within their relationship. That's what it's coming across here as. Some person here could be viewing the other person too controlling. And that could be one of the things that is unhealthy. Gigi, I'm going to say this, and some people may not like it, but Gigi was, while they were still together, while she was still with Zayn, I'm seeing that she had her, her options open as well. So she was already 
she was already speculating that this, this wasn't going to work out with him. She could have been keeping her options open. Because it was a dead end. Sorry. As far as them reconciling, I don't see it happening. Will anger management benefits Zayn Malik? Will anger management benefit Zayn Malik? Because he's been ordered to go to anger management classes now. He's pleaded no contest to the charges against him. Mind you. Will anger management help Zayn Malik? Will it benefit him? in some way or what lessons could he learn by going to anger management we have two knights that's popping up here Anger management could be teaching him how to not rush into things, like be so impulsive. It could also be teaching him how to... Be in more, like, be more in control of his own emotions. I'm seeing that he could have emotional outbursts here like emotional volatility. What is this Knight of Cups talking about? We have two Knights popping out. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Knight of Swords. So I don't know, like, whenever I ask this question who this is talking about, but there's two Knights is popping up. What are these two Knights talking about? In regards to... There could be... <laughs> He could be attending multiple different programs, have it required to be a, attend multiple different programs from two different teachers. Anger management, learning to control his emotions. That's what this Knight of Cups is talking about. What is this what is this talking about for Zayn Malik? Yeah, there's an internal conflict that's going on between like within him and he's needing to get a hold on that because it's starting to manifest itself in his life his actual life and his relationships between people he could have a past record of fighting with people being very difficult with people what is this Knight of Swords? Another way of me reading this, these two Knights is two aspects of his personal, personality, of Zane's personality. With the Knight of Swords, yeah, the Leo card popped out. Strength, learning to gain control, more self-discipline. That's, that's what's coming... That's, what's, that's what it's coming across here as. More self-discipline. With the Knight of Swords, he could be very impulsive. But part of him is very emotional. Part of him is very impulsive. And those are two particular aspects of his personality that he could be learning to walk, you know, work on. Because at this point in his life now, he's, he's starting to see that he's going to be alone. I think he just got dropped from his record label as well. Yeah, let's... That I'm glad I brought that up. Let's look at that next. That's probably going to be the last thing we're going to look at in this reading. Well, Zane's record label 
take him back? Or what is the future of <laughs> Zane's Zane's uh, music career? What is the future of Zane's music career? He's very uncertain right now. He's uncertain on where this is going to take him. What's going to come of this? He could be fearing this. Fearing the repercussions that are going to happen. He's, ga he's gaining a new perspective, though. And I'm also seeing that going into the future, he's not going to comment a lot on the situation. He's already said that he's not going to speak up on it, but he's sticking to his guns. He's not going to be addressing this. He cannot be saying much about it. What else? Can you tell me something else about the future of Zayn Malik's music career? He could be shifting focals. He could be shifting his focal point in his career. He could be working on other arts. I'm seeing that he could be getting into poetry. Instead of music, he could be getting into other works like, I don't know, modeling, acting, writing, something like that. But shifting his focal focus away from music because there's a he's going through a transitional time, a transformation right now with the death card. Okay, his sh career is going through a transformation here, so this is almost a crossroads. Yeah, this is transitional time. Will Zayn Malik, I want to ask one more thing, will Zayn Malik, will Zayn Malik uh, apologize to Gigi Hadid's mom? We have the truth card here. I'm seeing that he's going to try to make things right. Like, come to some type of uh, agreement or be di provide diplomacy, but some again, someone's not going to be receptive to it. He's going to try to put these issues to a rest and try to settle them behind closed doors, but it's not happening. Like, I think it's already got to the point where it's too late. Yeah, it's, it's just too late. He could be genuinely wanting to have peace with Yolanda, but he doesn't realize what he's done, like how far he's taken this. He's went way too far, and I'm seeing that he could be regretting it in the future. Okay, so hopefully that provided questions to, you know, whatever people were talking about to this. Again, this was for entertainment purposes only, but sound off in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this situation. What are your opinions on Zayn Malik and his accusations that he's facing right now with harassment? If you've tuned in this far, give the video a thumbs up. It helps support my channel, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel, switch notifications to all, that way you can get notified every time I post a video. Until next time. Take care of yourself. Namaste.